In this theorem I will prove the product rule and the product rule says that if f and g are differentiable functions on some interval i then so is the product of those functions f times g. And moreover we may calculate the derivative and this is what is known as the product rule so f times g prime is a derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. Well, this is proven as follows. So, prove, so we write down the definition of the derivative of f times g. Now we give meaning to what it says, f times g evaluated in x plus h, since this is no more than fx plus h times gx plus h, minus fx gx divided by h. Now we continue and perform a trick. In the numerator we will subtract something and add something, so actually we add zero in the sense, so look at the term, repeat the term, but now we subtract fx times gx of plus h. And if we do so, we are doing nothing if we add it right away, fx times gx of a plus h, and finally we have the term minus fx gx, divided by h. So the trick is that now in the numerator we have two common terms in the first two terms, so we can take out gx plus h, so we get the limit of h to zero of gx plus h, times fx plus h minus fx divided by h, in which we almost recognize the derivative of f in x. And the, the other term is, has a common term, fx, so we take out fx times gx plus h minus gx divided by h. And here we recognize almost the derivative of g. Now what happens? Well, we know that g is differentiable in, in x, then it's surely continuous in x. So if we take a limit for h going to 0, then what we're left with is g of x. So the limit exists. And the other part under the limit also has a limit. So we may calculate the product of the two by taking the product of the limits, the respective limits. So if we get g of x times f prime x, and something similar holds on the second term. So we take out the constant fx and the remainder gx plus h minus gx divided by h goes to g prime of x. So this gives us the product rule. Now as an illustration consider the function fx which is a product of two functions, the product of x with e to the power x then the derivative of f, yeah, d dx of x times e to the power x, so this is a product of x with e to the power x, is no more than taking the derivative of the first function, x times e of x, plus x times the derivative of the second function. So derivative of x equals 1 times e to the power x, and we know that e to the power x is the unique exponential function which has itself as derivative, so we get 1 plus x times e to the power x.